Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we're talking about 15 great all-around EDC knives that are under $100. Now, what do I mean about all-around? Well, I mean good steel, they cut good, good geometry, good clip, good carry, good price, and it winds up being a great EDC knife for, for just about anything, you know, just a great all-around EDC knife. Now, you know, today with the 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 way knives are it's easy to get a great knife under a hundred dollars so you know with so many amazing knives out there right now man under a hundred dollars you can get a damn good knife and you know i i do get kind pretty critical of some knife companies when they I don't know when they're they're not up to par, especially compared to some other companies when so many are doing such a great job. You know, in starting this list off, this knife is over a hundred dollars, a hundred and eight dollars to be exact. At least that's what I found them for. So it's not technically on this list, but I did open up with it, and it is a great example of a great all-around EDC knife. And I do have the review coming soon. This is the Wii banter but let's actually start this list off with a knife around 68 dollars uh yeah i think it's 68 dollars the savivi Knox. now i have not done the review on this yet but i am ready and it's coming very soon i it took a screaming sharp edge on this n690 i mean screaming sharp extremely thin nice nice deep hollow ground blade it is a stainless steel frame lock i this is savivi's first frame lock knife they've always done liner locks but yeah great edc knife and i know i'm kind of doing a spoiler alert because you know <laughs> of doing this right now before my review however you know i do have a couple complaints but not enough for it to not be on this list the savivi Knox. let's get to the next one now this next one i've had for a long time so a lot of these knives are new this one happens i've had for a long time but i wanted to get a usa made knife on this list and this is the kershaw bare knuckle now i got this knife right when these came out like literally literally right when they came out and they sold out pretty quick because it's an awesome knife. 14C 28M blade steel, aluminum handles. It has the subframe lock, deep carry clip. And yeah, it's for, for a USA made knife under a hundred dollars. I think they were I think it was 65 bucks when I got it. But for 60, 65 bucks, you can even get the versions in M390 for under a hundred for around like 98, 99 bucks or something like that. Fantastic flipping action, great build quality decent geometry it's not like the most amazing geometry but it's great as an all-around edc knife and it works really good this one has had a lot of love put on it it's had many 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 edges and it's still kicking it's still doing fantastic so i had to put it on the list next is another one i've had for a while but you know i'm gonna throw it in here anyways and then we'll get to some more newer knives the CJRB Feldspar. I'm going to talk about this quick because I know this. there's a lot of videos on these. And, you know, a lot of people know this is a great knife at this point, And it comes in a small and a large version. This one is the small version. But they come in amazing micarta. Like, you can get the one of these in some of the best micarta out right now, especially for the price. And these things, like this one, this version right here is only 35 bucks. So for 35 bucks, I mean, you you almost can't beat it. Now, the the new the other versions, you know, are in uh their their new powdered AARPM9 steel, but this one's in the D2, which is still a great steel for the price. 35 bucks for D2 is great. So, fantastic knife. Next, now this one is newer, but technically I could do the review on it right now, but I, I you know, I have a lot of great reviews coming up. By the way, don't miss the live tonight. We have a live at 7.30 p.m. Central Time every Wednesday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Hopefully we see you guys there. The Kaiser Justice. So this is a bit of a harder use knife in my opinion. But it's very well done. It has nice big hardware. 
nice big steel backspacer that adds to the strength. You can really feel the strength in this knife. The blade steel is N690. Great flipping action. Great thumb stud action. And it kind of has like a chain link sound. Which I actually like that. Um, great deep carry clip. You know, and it kind of matches. Um, but yeah, it does have a glass breaker on the back of it. I'm not a big fan of that, but hey, you know, maybe you are. So, but yeah, good ergos, great neutral ergos. It has um, a nice drop point blade, very useful. Like I said, great action. And yeah, you can get a great grip on this. So this will definitely take a little bit more harder use than uh, some of the other knives on this list. Not all, but some. Especially more than this one, which is another Kaiser. The Kaiser Dukes. I'm late to this one, guys, but this is new to me. This is an awesome little knife. Fantastic little EDC knife. I do have my couple complaints, but man, this thing is awesome. A f almost a full hollow. So you see it has the swedge on top. That's basically just, you know, that's going to help the, this beautiful hollow grind cut even better because when this little shelf on top basically when it's going through materials it helps the materials go around the blade as you're passing through um it does have a little tiny bit of a recurve but uh, you know it's uh it's going to be fairly easy to sharpen still the action is amazing not the drop the drop isn't really drop shutty i can slap it shut but the opening action i know you're looking at that flipper tab saying well yeah of course look at the flipper tab but man it's really good the detent is super well tuned the access to the lock bar is really nice contour g10 not a deep carry clip which is actually i'm happy that it's not a deep carry clip because if it was a deep carry clip it would not be comfortable in the hand seeing how thin it is so this is very comfortable in the hand because it doesn't have a deep carry clip great steel n690 and yeah nice and thin hollow i love it i love it next we have the Civivi imperium now, this one's um, a bit of a longer knife. Oh, man, I should have said the, the price on that one. That one was uh, the Kaiser Dukes was $69. Okay, next, the Civivi Imperium. Great knife. Um, it's, it is a little bit of a longer, sleeker knife, so it has kind of that, that issue I was talking about a second ago with the deep carry clip, and it is nice and thin, so you do feel the clip. But just as an all-around EDC knife, I mean, this thing carries well. It is a front-flipping action and thumb stud action. Nice, thin, drop-point blade. Beautifully well done. It comes in many different options, including this shred carbon fiber with the gold. And, you know, there's a lot of different options. There's micarta, there's G10, there's other kinds of shred micarta. So, yeah, N690 steel. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, Nitro V steel. Nitro V steel, fantastic steel. This one took a really, really sharp mirror edge. So, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And, you know, it's really easy to carry something thin and compact like that, even though you're getting a full-size blade. And that one's about $68. Next, we have the Boker Gulu Pro. Okay, so now this one, I'm not ready for the full review. And all the other knives on this list, I am. So this is one that I'm not quite ready. I did just recently get this. But already, I can tell. This thing feels like a high-end knife. Now, originally the price was over $100, but I found them at Knife Center for under $100 for like 98 bucks. It's D2, it's stainless steel, so a lot of people are looking at it like, oh man, that looks like titanium, but I'll tell you what, it feels like titanium. The steel is milled out on the inside, like heavily milled out on the inside, and it brings down the weight a lot. And man, it just feels so well done. I can't explain how high end this feels for the budget. The action is amazing. And even though it is only a one sided thumb stud, if you were left handed, it's very easy to reverse flick this thumb stud. I, you know, whether I put my finger on the lock bar, I don't have to put, as long as I don't put it on the detent, if I hold it low on the lock bar, it's still 
Very easy to reverse flick this. The detent is extremely well tuned. The ergos are really good. It doesn't have a deep carry clip, so it's nice and comfortable in the hand. You know, you do have this little spot ramping up right there, but it really doesn't bother me. The lock bar is nice um, to the finger. The action is just so sweet. Very, very nice. This It feels like a titanium frame lock knife um, around $200. <laughs> That's what it feels like. But yeah, only a hundred bucks. Next. Okay, this one's review is coming up soon. And I'll tell you what, I've been carrying this. I just recently posted the unboxing, but I, I, I didn't film that that day. So I've had this for a few more days. But the Kubi Raven, holy cow, I'm liking this thing. Um, there is a couple little tiny things that I might complain about, but I'll tell you what, this thing's pretty sweet. Um, one, the action is fantastic. The action's really nice on it. The, the flipping action's really good. The flat ground blade is, I mean, you can see, well, this, is, this isn't like, like, the, the coating coming off, this is stuff on the blade for me cutting stuff. So I don't think that's the coating coming off. It looks horrible right now, but that's just because I've been using it. But the um the blade is nice and thin, cuts extremely well, nice uh, sharpening choil, nice access to the lock bar. The G10 is done very well. The name fits it too, right? It looks like a Raven. Now they have other options of this. If you don't like the coated blade, they do have non-coated blades. So titanium clip it does have full liners and very solid man it's a very very solid knife no play in any direction and nice and smooth so many things are great about this knife the kubi the kubi um sorry the kubi raven around 59 dollars so great price too next is another kubi the Kubi Noble. I actually have this review right around the corner. Um, I'm damn. I'm well ready for it. Well ready for it. Great flipping action. Um, it has a nice ting to it too. And nice big hardware, deep carry clip, and the ergos are pretty good. I don't hold it like this though. I put my finger up here, and even though like it is only a one um, knuckle you know, type of finger grip. You don't want to put your finger over it like that. It feels like you're, you're very comfortable. It doesn't feel like you're touching the, the edge at all, which you're not, but I'm saying like you feel farther away from it than you are because of, instead of you gripping it this way, you're gripping it more at an angle and it just, you know, it feels like it works really well. Blade shape is nice. The, the price is really nice. Um, detent is really crisp now this one's in d2 um oh i forgot to say the steel on the raven the raven is aus 10 so sorry i forgot to say that this one is in d2 i'm not sure if they have aus 10 versions of this one and no you can't use this fuller thing the whole it's just too high up but you can hold it down here and get it but yeah fantastic little knife or medium sized knife. And that's only 39 bucks. So next, the Kaiser Horn. I just recently did a review on this and whew, it's a good one. This is definitely a good one. I know it's ugly and it does have a flipper tab that you can remove. If you watch my review, you'll see me uh, remove it. It's very easy. It's just a little screw right there. That's all you gotta do. The action is false shut action. The reverse flicking action, the, the hole right here lands right where your finger, well, where my finger goes. The micarta is great. I got something on it. Great micarta. I mean, just extremely well done micarta. I really like the quality of this micarta. Deep carry clip. Action is stupid good. Um, the, the ergos on it's really nice. The jimping on the spine is really well done. You feel very, very locked in. The, the blade shape and grind is nice and slicey. 
and it, it like i said it is a bit of an ugly blade shape but man it works it works great amazing little knife i, I really like this one the kaiser horn for 65 bucks next now this one's modified but spider code delica these things have been around for so long i don't think i need to say much about them but i'm new to them and i understand why people love these things now you can get these for for there's so many price ranges but you can get them well under a hundred dollars like in the 60 dollars range for the frn and vg10 version this one was that version or is that version but it's had copper scales put on and uh 20 cv i won this from titty patina knives and yeah man such a fantastic knife it's just it works so good as a user the blade shape and grind is so you utilitarian tasked yet a great slicer so it really really works good and i really don't mind the back lock because it it's just so easy easy to fidget with it's placed extremely well it drops perfectly and you slap it shut i mean it's just so such a good little knife i really like this knife next we have the Kaiser Beg Lighter 2. I know I've been screaming about this thing a lot, but it's just such a fantastic knife, especially like the first one was good, right? The Beg Lighter 1, but the Beg Lighter 2 is far better, far better. The action is stupid good. The detent is so crisp, and on these new bearings that they have, this new, uh, the new bearing system they have, it's ridiculous ridiculously good super easy to reverse flick the access to the lock bar is really nice the micarta is great quality feels good in the hand even with the deep carry clip i don't mind it nice slicey n690 blade took a stupid sharp edge i mean even with a polish holy cow that took a sharp edge it's still sharp and i've been using it now there are other colors with this i think these things are 65 bucks as well so fantastic price fantastic everything and if you go to mojave outdoors you might be able to get a deal on one of these i'm not i'm not 100 percent. next this is a twofold and then we'll get to the best one of the show the civivi elementum i'll go through this pretty quick but the Civivi Elementum, hands down, one of the best bangs for your buck knives. I mean, they just, it's such a great knife. Now, this one is the S35VN version with the thinner blade stock, and it is a great slicing knife. Now, taking this one away and making it a bigger version, oh, man. <laughs> Oh man. Now I know this one's a button lock and it doesn't have any other deployment, but the flipper, you have to push the button to open it up. And I understand that some people love it. Some people hate it, but as a knife, as an all around EDC knife, this is almost as good as it gets. 120,000 blade stock thickness, 15,000 behind the edge with a nice deep hollow ground blade, beautiful sharpening twill you can sharpen this thing forever nice micarta deep carry clip the ergos are fantastic and it slices so good the the blade shape is so useful um it's almost like a spear point but it is considered a drop point and the action's really good too but take away the action this thing is such a great knife and it looks good too i mean just look at it beautiful knife and this one or one of mine, because I have two of them. One of them are going to be given away to one of you guys. But even the smaller version's great too. And they're well under $100. So I think this one's $75 for the S35VN version, $50 for the D2 version, the 14C28N version. Um, I forget the price, but it, it's under, it's like 65, 67 bucks or something. And I. I like the 14C28M better than even S35VN. Now, the best knife on this list, or the best bang for your buck, I should say, on this list, in my opinion, the Tucson TS301. Now, I could put a lot of different Tucsons up here to fit this bill, or to, to you know represent what I'm about to say. But I got this for about 80 bucks. 14C, 28M blade steel. Tucson does a great job with it. Very nice micarta. Titanium frame lock. 
very well built. I mean, like it's extreme quality. I mean, it feels like a Riat or like a Wii knife. It feels high end, very, very high end. You're basically getting high end materials, high end build quality for the best bang you can get. I mean, for 80 bucks, this thing is so good. It carries good, even though it does have a ball clip and I normally don't like these. This one works out good. Nice titanium backspacer, very lightweight. And it is a mega slicer, super thin behind the edge. This thing is a, it cuts so good. Not only is the geometry really good with this, you know, practically a full flat ground uh, clip point blade, but the ergos are so comfortable in the hand that it, 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 you can cut with it like, like no other. I mean, this thing is insane. And the thumb studs do act as the blade stop, kind of like a hinder. So that is the, the stop pin is the, the thumb studs and they work great. The detent's awesome. Great sharpening choil. Man, everything's great on this knife. I really was impressed reviewing this knife. And it has a little micarta inlay that's very well done, too. Nice big T8 hardware. It's hard to beat this for $80, guys. $80, $90. Now, check this out. I can get a link to this for, I think, $100. It might be more than that. But I don't care if it's $130. It's a deal for this knife. This knife, to me is is well worth that you're getting all the high-end materials and 14 c 28 n which is in my opinion one of the best well-rounded steels out there it, it's very tough so that means they can grind it nice and thin i mean it was originally for razor blades so it um, has great edge retention it's easy to sharpen very stainless it's a super well-rounded steel and that's the point of this video is a well-rounded knife which this is in my opinion so there you guys go but like i said i could have put a lot of other two sons right here and said a lot of the same things i love you guys thanks for watching peace